Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Saturday. So today is going to be a busy day. I'm heading to Lowe's right now so I can get some supplies. I'm going to be getting um, cement board to put down as a new subfloor. I'm going to get the tile that I want to put on top of it, um, which I have to get at Lowe's because Home Depot doesn't sell the exact one that I want. And hopefully it fits in the back of my car in that pass through. I hope um, the cement board is not too wide. Um, but I got a tape measure so I can measure it to make sure it'll fit. And yeah, and then we're just gonna start today. We're gonna go for it. Hey, you guys wanna go on the school bus of terror? <laughs> They're in the parking lot of Lowe's today here in West Sac. Um, this school bus, bad to the bone. They move around to different parking lots, different weekends, and they give like kids rides and stuff. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Alrighty guys, so this is the section that I'm going to do today. If you go up the stairs, Woo, you got this nasty carpet up here. Turn the corner and right up to here before it goes into the bedroom. So I'm gonna stop right here and get all this part right here. Um, we can see that I've already done the bathroom, but like I said, I have to redo it because I didn't put the new subfloor down. So, and then if I get super motivated, I'm gonna do the stairs. You can see I've already done the landing a while ago, but I haven't done the individual treads yet so we'll see how much materials I have on me and how much time and sanity I have about this whole thing Okay guys, Whew. I've taken the carpet up, I've taken the padding out. Now there is nail strips along all the sides, which is what the carpet is adhered to on the edges. Um, and also there are staples randomly around here because they staple the padding to the floor. So there's only one way to fix that. And that is with pliers and go through one at a time and yank freaking staples out of the floor. So that's annoying. Um, but once I do that, once I get all the staples out and I get the nail strips out, then I will be good to um, vacuum this to make it nice and clean and then start putting down the cement board. Alrighty guys, so I've gotten all of the staples out, I think. Um, I took the, the nail strips out, and now I've got cement board. I, I also vacuumed just to get the you know dust that's been accumulating for the past 10 years, and all the cracks and everything out. And so as you can see, this floor is gross. <laughs> it's like the cheapest wood possible, which is why we're not going to put anything directly on top of it. Um, so we're going to put the subfloor down. Um, it also creaks. I don't know if you can hear it. There's certain spots. Definitely right around here. Right there. See? <laughs> so this floor creaks a lot. So when I put the subfloor down, I am putting a shit ton of screws in. And it's going to be like 
one solid piece of a floor. So hopefully there will be no more creaks in the floor, at least this section that I've done. Um, when I eventually move out into the bedroom, the camera right now, you guys are in the bedroom right now. So when I move out into the bedroom of the loft, then same thing, and hopefully all the creaks will be gone there too. All right, let's bring on the subfloor. Alrighty guys, ah. all the cuts have been made and I've laid down all the boards. So you've got this board cut, this board cut, this board, this board, and a small little piece right here for the edge. Oh, I can't even tell you how many times I've walked up and down the stairs so far today. I literally make heel over. So I'm gonna screw these suckers down and I don't know, I'm thinking while I have the saw out, I may start cutting pieces for the stairs because it may seem weird, but the stairs are easier to do because they're all exactly the same size. Like I'm not cutting out this piece and this piece and then this piece to make it fit into the you know square footage that I have. Like I'm literally just going, boom, this tread, this tread, this tread, this tread, this tread. And I've got like a stop on my saw, so I just put it to the right length and then I just cut, 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 boom, done. And I've only got to cut, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 18. 18 pieces, and I've got all the treads, and then another 18 pieces so I can get all the backs. And, and then the stairs are like all done, so I think I'm gonna do that. Even if I don't get the tile down on the stairs, at least I'll have the carpet off and the subfloor down. And tiling, you know, doesn't require any power tools because I'm using vinyl, tile that's already got pretty sticky on the back. So like I could just come home from work and just start putting tile down. So I think I'm gonna do that. Even before I put tile down up here, I'm gonna just finish off the stairs. But first I'm gonna screw this this down. I'm gonna take a little break. Just, just a little break. Small break. Okay guys, I'm still going even though I'm slowing down a bit, but I'm calling this phase 1.25, I have ripped the carpet out of the upper half of the stairs. Next, phase 1.5 will be to rip the carpet off the lower half of the stairs. And then in order to get to phase two, all of the stairs have to have new subfloor the way it is up here. And then I may or may not lay anything down tonight. I may not because I'm tired and whatever, but I will have all the subfloor down on the stairs and everything before I finish today. Alrighty guys, check it out. Phase 1.5. I have removed the carpet from the lower part of the stairs. So there is 19 treads and I have four pieces of this stuff that I've been using for the subfloor. Each one is five feet tall, um, which means I have 20, I can make 20 treads and I have 18 that I need to make. But that means with the stuff that I have, I don't have any material to do anything on the risers. Today, anyway. Um, but that's okay. Um, it may be a good thing because we're st I'm still deciding what I want to do on the riser. I don't want to, I'm contemplating just getting like a piece of wood and painting it black and putting it on there because that might look really cool. So we'll just have to see. I'm taking a break now. Um, once I'm done with my break, I'm going to cut the wood. It's actually really easy. So the treads are like one inch smaller than this length. So I just need to like cut all four of them, just rip off an inch of all of them, and then set my stop again for one foot because the treads are one foot. And then just, just you know, cut, 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 cut. So it should, the cut should go really fast because just the same cut over and over and over and over again. And 
Then I will have a bunch of pieces that I can just slowly just put down and screw down. That'll be the annoying part of screwing them down because <laughs> it's a lot of screwing. It's hot outside guys. Okay, so I messed up one of my one of my sheets of concrete board, but as it turns out I still ended up with 18 pieces, which is exactly what I need. So whew, lucked out. Okay, so now I'm gonna vacuum up and you know get all the dust and stuff off of the the stairs and start putting down the new treads. Yay! Okay guys, phase two is complete. I've got new subfloor down on both upper and lower stairs and I'm done for today. I cannot go on, I hurt so bad. So I'm gonna go to the gym now. Um, not to work out, hell no. I'm gonna go soak in the hot tub because I fear if I do not do this, I will literally be dead tomorrow. So I'm gonna go do some hot tub. And in case this is the end of today because I may die and not be able to move, go on, Till tomorrow, guys. Love and bubbles.